Uh, for me, started at least at least with uh, with my friend. Uh, I met David there, and uh, we had completely different mindset. Okay, David has a completely different journey related to his fathers, but for me, my mindset was more. I want to have fun, you know. I want just to have to enjoy and to play. And uh, uh, the thing is also is where it's show. Yeah, and uh, my souvenir. What is very important for me is to talk about the souvenir. And uh, we have so much, so much great souvenir with Dan Dulac, with big uh, like coming early in the morning or late at night, or even like not even go go home. And uh, it's not only just practicing physically, it's just also just to talk, you know, talking, exchanging. I'm sure you've got this uh, experience by yourself with your friends. But it's, this is very, uh, for me, the fuel, the fuel of the practice. Not talking about any, anything physical, physiology, nothing about technique. It's really the fuel of the, the core of it for me. It was the, the mindset of play, having fun, and the freedom of it. And, uh, and that's the same thing when I go to Sarcel. Because for me, when I was to Sarcel, it wasn't for pure training or, or become very strong. It was just holiday for me. You know, like school was finished. It was, was very important for me because I, uh, I, 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 uh, my family, we never have a lot of uh, money you know, like to go to holiday somewhere else. For me, going to Sarcel was my holiday. It was just like, oh, I go, you see, like, show, Fung, uh, Katy, Nelly, oh, everyone. You know, that was, for me, the, the fuel. Uh, the continuity of the practice, each time I'm going there, that was how I, sp I practice, and I, I think it was something that was very important for me to share with you today. And it's very linked with uh, why is it so important for me to, to say that to you today. It's linked with the evolution of the practice now, uh, from my point of view, from my perspective. Now the discipline evolved a lot now, it's become uh, uh, super sophisticated now. Uh, uh, there is more knowledge, you know, which is good. Uh, uh, better technique, uh, better practitioner, better than myself now, far better. Uh, now we go higher, faster, longer. And you can find this sentence in the sport now. Okay, you can see, I don't know if you remember, like sport, Olympic, we're talking about this, you know. And basically, I can see now that the practice become like, a, uh, for me, it's become like a sport now. Okay, it's become a sport and it's become a sort of business. And that's the reality of it now. It's become a sport and a business. And now we move away from from my original point, how I started as a child play. And uh, yes, as I say now, we're talking about the, the federation now. We wanted to become a federation. And we're facing a lot of issues as an ambassador. You know, like I move away from pioneer and the founders from become an ambassador. This is what we share together now, the ambassador. And uh, now we, we're talking about becoming a federation and facing a very strong issue with these things like. Uh, uh, sport and business. Everyone has a, their own organization, which is a, a small business now, and uh, now it's become a sport. But I would like also to talk to you about my background. I don't know if you know it, but my my life is I'm always a paradox, you know, like uh, always like in between two things, you know, like kind of like it, it looks like messy, but at the same time I'm I'm quite very serious. But it's, it's my life, and maybe you've got the same thing in your life. But my background, I don't know if you know, but I've got brothers. I've got, uh, I've got two, two younger brothers and two older brothers. My uh, older brother, my older brother, Mark, was an Olympic, okay? He was a champion of the world. He did, uh, he did the Olympic twice, and he was a uh, champion of France for, for many years. And that's uh, something so early stage, uh, early, early, I knew what was uh, the elite stage. You know? Even when we were practiced together, I said, oh, this guy is strong, this guy is strong. I knew in my head I had a database of what is a, a strong person physically, physiologically. You know, what, when we talk about someone is fast, you know, when you're with your friends, oh, he's fast. For me, so I knew this is not fast. I knew what was fast. You know, I, had, I had the experience of the, the high level from my, my older brother, which was Olympic, and also the discipline, the dedication. My dad wants us to become a. Uh, we, I've got a sport family, very, very strong sport background and my dad wants, wants us to become uh, sporty and uh, he wants us to become like a football player and we succeed. No, we don't succeed and become a football player. But he wants us to become, all of us like to become something in football, but it doesn't matter, we're still really involved in sport. But my older brother is uh, as an artist, he's more drawing, okay? Then I've got two brothers, one uh, 
as an inspiration of my brother uh, who's an Olympic and the other person was more like everyone said oh he's got gold in his hand because he was really good in drawing and I grew up with this I always draw always draw I don't know if uh, Shaw remember but I know Shaw is <laughs> just disappeared Shaw but I place over there but I, I, I'm sure if you remember myself you remember myself more like a clown so as you see me so like always having fun which was my the original practice just for fun and I have the, the background of I like to draw in art, always my vision with art, but also have the sport. And as I say, it's a, it's a paradox. Uh, maybe I'll miss, oops, hopefully I remember everything I want to say today. Yes, that's my background, and that's a paradox. And uh, we were talking with Kieran, we remember we were talking about sport and uh, art also. That's something also we're facing now uh, with uh, parkour, for any of art placement is this issue of like uh, one way you want to have like some structure, you know, like to, like to be a good coach, you know, like uh, knowing about ph physiology and everything like this. But in a certain way, you've got this artistic side where you want to be like pure freedom, like doing everything, like woo -hoo, you know, everything, just having fun and be messy and not like too, too, too much uh, regimented, like, okay, listen to me guys, today we're going to do this, you know. And that's something we, we as an ambassador, we're facing, you know, like how we can uh, convey a good, a good, uh, a good message uh, as, a, as a teaching, where we can respect the freedom of, the core essence of the freedom of our practice. And also the, the thing I think is missing in, uh, in the practice now is the, having some structure. That's why also I'm doing ADAPT and all this, all this certificate. Because as an ambassador, so it's, uh, I think it's good to show the people like, I don't, I don't want our discipline to become something like just completely, uh, completely crazy. And, uh, but it's a story of, uh, of every art, so in, uh, in painting, in sculpture, any, any art is the same. Like we're talking about chaos and order, you know, like it's always like fighting between, between two, two of them. And, uh, and I think this is one of the issues we're going to face with Fiat also, okay? Because now with structure, we want something like, like federation and regulation, and now we start to feel like almost it's a cage. We need that, we need, we need to have this, but at the same time we need uh, to keep the freedom. Because the question is why, why now there is some kids who are doing uh, gymnastic, and now they move away from gymnastic and they want to do some parkour. They like that, some of us say, could you do a And that's not parkour. <laughs> so, but you know, because it's the freedom of it, you know, that gymnastic is good, you've got the crash mat, but also uh, the mindset of the child, they just want to have fun, okay? They need a bit of discipline, but they want to have fun and freedom. But that's something you will, you're already facing, but you still need to, to think about it, and we need to think about it together when we, when we, we develop uh, this big organization. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, uh, one of the things also I've noticed now, so uh, from my point of view, so I, I've noticed discipline become quite serious, you know? Even like sometimes I can find myself in a, uh, IMAX, and I met the people and everyone's like... <laughs> <laughs> you, know, it's kind of, you know this, you know, it's kind of... <laughs> you know, it's kind of very, very serious. And it's kind of something very different from, from uh, how I started, you know. And I understand what they're doing, but... Uh, yeah, talking about... Now I've been doing this for more than, more than 20 years. I don't even count, it doesn't very matter. But some, some people ask me how you bored you know, to do this. And of course I I was bored to do this, to do this practice. Because after ten years, I don't know how many years. Um, does anyone have done ten years now already? Ten years? Did you feel bored at a certain point sometime? No? Never? Yeah? No? That's good, good. I think but all s switching, did you feel this moment where you feel like you want to to switch and doing something kind of different. I think it's happened for when you reach 10 years time, you've got this time when you're, you feel like you want to, to evolve and doing something different. And me, I've done it for more than 20 years now. You know, like it's kind of like ages. And you start to feel like, even like quitting, you think oh, I'm gonna quit, I want to do something else. But you still continue because I believe I'm an ambassador. I've got like with uh, great power come great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> And, uh, but I think now, what I've, what I've seen now in the big uh, scale, now people 
don't really need us almost, you know, we can feel like now it's become this goal by itself, it's become big and big. But for some way, like in a certain point, like people will forget us, the founders, how we started, who we were, and what was our dream. Uh, it will happen, I'm sure it's already happened, I can be uh, in a different country and walk by someone who's practiced and don't even know who I am, which I'm okay with it, you know, I can be okay with it, no worries. But as I said, it has become serious. But what you need to remember, and I think my scarf personally remember me this very well, is as a human being, we're quite fragile, okay? And uh, maybe you all have an injury or serious injury, we don't have to say it. Or maybe you've, you've got friends who have something very serious when you face death. Uh, ultimately, as a, as a people, we are we're quite fragile. And we're talking about performing and training for purpose or being useful and everything. And I was a firefighter, and that's been useful, okay? But now we're practicing, but how many times we use it properly, or we use all the skill we've got in a real lifetime? It's not really happen all the time, you know? It's not all the, oh yeah, I saved, I saved a cat, or uh, I lost my key, and I used one. So. But all this training, like 95% training, hardcore, you know, sometimes it's become like, uh, out of the, you know, it's like, sometimes I say it's like a superhero. Like uh, when I look at us, it's like Justice League, you know Justice League? It's like we're the Justice League, you know, like, but it's like, oh my God, I can fly faster, faster than you, I can, you know, like it's a Justice League. But average people, they can't even like just, just step uh, uh, fence, they can't do it. It's kind of like, uh, and sometimes we need to remember this, we're already great, we're already great, you know. Doesn't mean we stop to progress, but we're already great. And uh, as my, uh, my mentor, Bruce Lee, you know, was super strong, super fit. He did some feet of strength like uh, I can't even do, I wish I can do, but I can't. But even himself, people saw him like a superhero. He injured himself by doing, a, a, I think, a pull up with the bar, you know. And he damaged his, uh, his, his back forever, you know. And he died at 32. You see, that's, that's reality of life. That's why now, now I'm talking to, um, I mean, uh, almost finished with my talk, but I mean, legacy. It's like we need to remember we can train very hard, we can have a lot of good sentence like being strong, being useful, but ultimately we're fragile. And uh, what, what is very important uh, at the end, of, as I said, is the link, you know, we're linked together. And it's not very, the move or, or the jump we're doing, how far we go and everything, because it's, uh, I believe that it's more the souvenir and how we are together. And, uh, for me, ultimately, it doesn't matter how fit I am. You know, I want to be fit because the journey is more important than the goal. You know, you want to be uh, quite well as long as you can. But the performance or uh, how far we go is not very important. What is important for me, if I can finish it, is as I said, start it as a child player. It has to continue as a child player. And if you can leave a message from my point of view, this is the legacy of Sebastian, you know, always personal, then there is no contro controversial point of view. For me, starting as a child player, just you have to make sure you give this to the, ch to the children and for, for the people, the, the memory, the souvenir. You know, it's like how much we love, how we fall down. You know, that's, that's, I think that's the, that's the legacy, that's the power we've got from the discipline. Parkour, freely, hard to be We can put all the discipline because there is many, many other practice where they've got discipline. You know, we can't say it's only in parkour, you know. There is very great discipline where they've got discipline, they, they know how to push boundaries and everything. But the child plays, guys. The freedom of it. The child plays the freedom of it. Voila! That's it. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> now, practic practical exercise. As I say, there is nothing I will... Uh, I still do some stuff experimental, but I will not talk about this now. It's more personal. It's still uh, on the journey of going on. What I just want to do with you together is just, I would like to play tag. That's it. We just want, I want us to use this, this, this uh, environment. We will divide in uh, two groups. I, I still don't know how we're going to do this, but I just want to start with a few people, you know, uh, who want to come with me. And we're going to chase you, we're going to tag until we... Is there any way we can maybe talk, talk more? I don't know, how could we make sure we tag and we know who is... Who's the who's been touching with not? <laughs> Do you
They still can talk, but there is a kind of political uh, language here. And uh, also with sport, what I don't like is the, the, the lying aspect, I call it. It's just like, uh, uh, they say it's well-being, but when you see a top athlete, uh, they're retiring after 30 years. And they've got, oh, I've got uh, 10 uh, surgery and 10, you know. It's completely different from, I believe, what we do. You know, it's more like for uh, holistic and for our, our body. <coughs> And that's, that's a danger with it, because now after they will reward um, the, the Olympians and the champion and they will never listen to your voice anymore. Because he's the person who is the best that will listen to him. And if you oh, I'm not playing, I just don't know. 
But after after a few years, nobody talk about him. There is a new Olympian and a new and a new. And that's that's what happened with sport. It's just renew, renew, renew. But uh, ultimately, as a ultimate athlete as we are, you know, the person that's just completely uh, fucked up. You know, for me, it's just like I, I broke my arm, as you say, in military service. Nothing to do. So we're talking about freak accident. Nothing to do with uh, with parkour, and I broke my wrist on tour. But ultimately, practicing, I had just twist my ankle or something. My back is okay, my knee is okay, and uh, I wanted to keep going like this. All the question. Add another one. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you're a topic of, of uh, injuries. So your experience, guys, if you had a lot of injuries, yeah. um, and I'm training for four for ten years, and my experience yeah. is in the beginning you're just doing it. Yeah, you're doing it. You're not afraid of anything. And when you get more and more experience, you get more the feeling of it. Should I really do it? Yeah. When I get when I hurt my my ankle or something, my ankle or something like this, I will put myself out for a month or two, and it really likes my. Um, it really, it's really bad for my training. Yeah. yeah. So you will also have the experience of. Uh, you, the more experience you get, the more yeah. fear you get of, of injuries. And how do you deal with that? Uh, uh, now we're talking about different things. Injury and fear, it's two different yeah. things for me. Uh, Injury-wise, for me, as I said, we're talking about experimenting. For me, it's always believed that there's the cavalier and the horse. And that's completely switched from the sport environment. Sport environment, your horse say, I've got the pain. You just switch off and say, okay, we need to overcome it. Because for them, it's a benefit to overcome the pain. And just say, oh, shit. This is the middle, we're gonna do it. That's uh, completely different. For me, I'm different. When I've got a pain, I say, okay, I'm stop. Because my whole stay, I stop, I just stop, I'm waiting. <coughs> because for me, I want to uh, express well being and be always on the kind of uh, a, a good edge. We're talking about fear, it's different. There is a time where, when you're younger, you, can't, you still have fear, but you, you want to overcome them because it's a different mindset, okay? And you can do it, then you start to reach a level, okay, now I've got almost no fear, I can do big jump and big stuff. Then after you've got different issues, you start to get more recognized and you start to realize, okay, in terms of career wise, you have to be careful. Then the new fears come in. So, oh my God, uh, I can't do this. And people jump further than you, but uh, for you now, you're thinking more strategically, okay? And then after all that stuff, now you've got a family and now you're thinking about difference. So now, okay, why am I in this ledge and doing like this? Is that really, you know, you're less selfish. And it's not about you anymore. And now you think that's the topic of fear. Fear is always in movement. It's not, never constant. You can have like, oh, now I'm, wow. And also practicing. Less you practice, fear is coming back again. You know, like uh, for me, I've got acrophobia. You know, when I was in James Bond, I, because we practiced like for us, uh, we were like three months in a, like a, two months in a crane, working every day. Now my acrophobia, just I was like, because I practice regularly. But now, even now, sometimes I stand up in the bar over there, I feel like against a wall. Because you see, less practice, you just yeah, it's just come back. Let's just keep practice. When when you face your fears, can you also do it in the playful, the child play way? You, you yes. yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, you, you can you can practice uh, to overcome your fear in, in a in a playful environment. That's how the animal do. They, they they do. They always do like this. They always learn like this. And there is this factor of uh, injury of death. But in our society, it's something like, oh my God, be careful, you know? Because we try to have 100% secure, which doesn't exist, ultimately. And I always say fear is a perception. You know, I say we take the plane, the plane is, is far crazier than, than doing a jump, like a precision jump. Technically, you know, like we think like just something like really heavy, just fly in the air, just landing, like, oh, you see? But now, of course, it's okay, as I say, we just like, see? Because now we completely shut down. It's, it's absolutely normal, everyone do, does it. But there is plane, plane crash, but they still do it. They don't say, oh, I don't do plane because it's like, no, because they need it for the, for the business and for, for everything, okay? And connection, people connecting. But for, for us, the jump, you know, you know, we know, you know, the footwork and everything, it's quite safe. It's much safer than that. There's so much in connection with our body than someone with a plane. We trust the pilot. I always say that, you trust the pilot, he, he may be drunk, but we never, you, don't, you don't even question that. You say, no, of, of course, I will never have a, a drunk pilot. <laughs> you know, but you just come, you say, okay, hello, uh, seat number three, uh, sitting. Completely trust. You see, if we do the same in parkour, you say, no, oh, this is such an idiot. You know, just to trust, uh, just jump. You see, and that's, that's the thing. But play, play is the key for me. I always say the children are the master. And by playing, it's, uh, it's more uh, fluid, more uh, 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 
vital than when you make it like really regimented. All you have to do is the is um, is the setup. See, if you do a play a game up, now your fear of height is become different. And all you all the setup is how you make something safe, safer, something like that. But you need to respect the this dimension of getting this fear. You know? Then you you're close to you're getting close to what you want to to train. Basically. <coughs> That's the time for question. You can throw any question. Um, you said that you started practicing and training because you had it as well. I'm yes. just wondering why you chose parkour as something that's fun as opposed to something else that might be fun, like reading or painting. Or yeah, uh, I, I, I did, uh, I still read. I, I did read and I, I did paint, I still paint also. But obviously you spent a lot more time with yeah. parkour than say. Yes, the, the good cars. thing is, the thing is, I never choose to do parkour. Parkour came to me. As I said, when we're talking about historically, uh, David started, Jan started, they were like doing without naming parkour, okay? Okay? They, uh, they call it art de déplacement, you know? They started before me. It wasn't the same as it is now, but ultimately when I met them, so, oh, cool, you know? The first time I met David, I was with my bicycle, okay? And uh, David has a sandwich, and uh, we just, there's a, oh, hey, how are you? And he knew my brother because we're in the same school as my brother. I said, oh, I give you a, give you a sandwich and you, you, you give me your bicycle, just I'm going to turn around. It's just like the way it changed. This is just a day like this, a very simple day. It's not like, oh, I'm doing parkour. I never choose. Parkour came to me. And uh, uh, Jan, Jan uh, younger brother, um, uh, Frédéric, was in, we were in school together. We were in school together and we were playing ninja <coughs> on the rooftop. Nothing to do with parkour. They, like uh, David, yeah, they were doing it in a kind of more serious way, and me, I just play like every kid. And... <laughs> See, that's I never choose parkour. It's just, this is just something happened. So, where, why did you stay with that then, as opposed to going off and doing something else? That was cool, man. <laughs> 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 that was so cool. No, but honestly, it's just like. You don't have to pay anything, you know, you're just with your shoes, we're just outside. Uh, also, yeah, because now also we've got a lot of indoor space. But remember, when we did it, we were only outside, always outside. Rain, cold, everything. But that was really, really cool. I wasn't really good at school. For me, that was my escape. It's what always make us reference Peter Pan, you know. That's, that's the mindset, it's Peter Pan, the Dead Weight Society. I was the, I was the, the core essence of how, how we were. It's like, yeah, that's something special, you know. I'm not really good at school, but when it's finished, I know that. Yeah, good, let's do it. That was, that's, that's why we keep going. That's the, 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 the fuel of it. That's it. One more question? Good, voila.